Welcome back to the screencast for ProvideCars.com, ProvideCars Online Japanese Car Auction System. Now in the previous screencast, we looked at the search options and how to set up a very, very simple search to see some of the cars which are coming up in the auction. Now today we're going to look at different ways to display the search by looking at these options here and also the, this option here as well. Now, as you see, I've got a search already set up here. I'm looking for Mazda Demios and age 2005 to 2006, the grading condition, so fairly okay cars between 3.5 and grade 4, and also any mileage up to 80,000. So now let's look. At the moment, I've got it set as a list view, and let's click on the search button to see what that looks like. And here it comes through, and as you can see, here are all the cars are basically just listed down here. The, everything is in a, a sort of text format. Now if we go back, and let's try the photo list, and let, let's see how that's different. If we click search here, as you can see, we've got some images pop in here. They haven't actually loaded yet, but they're going to be loading. And as you can see, they're popping in. Some of them take a little bit more time, depending on which auction they're in. I'll do a quick scroll down so you can see. So as you can see, again, it's like the list view. You've got the data here where you can see details about the car, but here you've also got small pictures. So if you're looking, say, for a particular color of vehicle, or perhaps if you're looking at um, sports cars, you might want one which is obviously modified or obviously not modified, you can quickly see in the pictures a car which you would probably be interested in. And finally, let's go back again, and this time we're not going to do the photo list, we're going to click this one which is called Large Photos, and again we're going to click Search, and here we go, you can see again the screen is already looking different, and once more you can see the data for the car here, and on the top here, but you've got pictures which are quite a bit larger, and if, you're, if the appearance of the car is going to be quite um, important for you, then this um, particular view is quite a good way of looking at the cars and getting a good idea of what they look like before you bother to click through to see the details. Let's go back again. So we've just been looking at list, photo list, and large photos. Just one more feature here you can see. Right now we've got up to 36 cars listed per page. But you can change that. Maybe you would want less per page and just scroll through the pages, or maybe you want to have more, you can set that here. And just one final thing to show you, you've got the option to m do these settings here on the search page, but if we go through to the details page, you'll notice you've got the same settings up here. So if you're already on this page, and right now we've got it set on the large photos, but if I think, well I don't want to see it like this anymore, this isn't really the best way to see this data for me. I want to go back to the list view. You don't have to go back to the search page. You can just click list here. And when you do that, the same information is then redisplayed on the page, but in that new view, which is the list view. So you can change your settings on the search results page or on the original search page. So these are three, that's three different ways that you can see the information. You've got list view, You've got photo list view, which has the small pictures of the car along with the data. And then you've got the large image view, which looks quite different, where you've got big pictures of the car, and then you've got the data underneath and above it. And that's the end of this video. If you would like to sign up for um, a 14-day free guest access to our system to get a look at it, um, you can do so at providecars.com and we're looking forward to hearing from you and to getting good cars from Japan for you. Thank you very much.